thermal stabilization. Do I sound like a scientist? <laughs> My name is Priya Krishna. I am a food reporter here at the New York Times, and today we are taste testing MREs. So just to back up a little bit, during the pandemic, I started um, noticing a couple friends of mine who bought MREs, which stands for Meals Ready to Eat, and were stocking them in their pantries, sort of afraid of food running out on grocery store shelves. Then there's this other sector of people on the internet, specifically YouTube and TikTok, who have gained these huge followings, basically just unboxing and taste testing MREs. And so I started to think like, maybe the civilian interest in MREs has never been higher than it is now. And maybe that warrants a story. So I went to Natick, Massachusetts, where the Department of Defense has its combat feeding division to learn how MREs are made and what we can expect them to look like in the next five years. So the first thing you see when you walk into the, the R&D facility is this sort of like museum of MREs. So it shows you this shelf and you see the earliest MREs they were eating during the Civil War and the American Revolution. In the early MREs, you'll see they have cigarettes. We don't have cigarettes now. And then you have the development of the modern MRE, which um, transitioned away from cans and eventually to this thing called a retort pouch, which is made of these flexible materials that can basically be, I'm not an expert, caveat, thermally stabilized like a can without the bulkiness of a can. And then the second thing was this thing that we will see, which is called the flameless ration heater. It's literally a bag that you add a little bit of water to, you stick the MRE in, it heats up, and no plug, no electricity required. Everything is super intentional, you know, from type of packaging used to like the fact that you get an accessory packet with gum, that gum has xylitol, which prevents tooth decay. Like, you know, these are one and a half pound, 1200 calorie packs, and every calorie serves its purpose. Like everything from spam to M&Ms to energy bars, that all came from military ration. There is this guy named Dr. Yang who is experimenting with essentially the microwave slash dehydrator that took like a macaroni and cheese and compressed it into basically a granola bar. There is an entire room where you can say like, I wanna be in Baghdad on June 11th, and you can set it to Baghdad at June 11th. It will mimic those conditions and you can see how the MRE fares. This is like future food. So MREs technically are government property. So what that means is that it is technically illegal for civilians to buy MREs, but we were lucky enough to get permission from the combat feeding division to taste test some MREs here in my home. And so my good buddy David from the DOD sent us a case of 12 official government approved MREs that we are going to try today. We might, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna see if Seth can open these one second. It's really heavy duty. There we go. Thank you. Okay, let's look at all of them. We got a pizza MRE. The pizza MRE is like the one, the one you wanna get. Southwest style beef and black beans, beef goulash, lemon pepper tuna, beef patty, jalapeno pepper jack. It's sort of like a faux hamburger type of thing. Hash brown potatoes with bacon, pepper, and onions. Beef ravioli and meat sauce. We're really hitting the jackpot here cheese tortellini and tomato sauce. This one sounds interesting, creamy spinach fettuccine, pork sausage patty maple flavor. I heard this one's really not great. <laughs> Mexican style chicken stew. All right, and then the last one is the chicken burrito bowl. They were really selling this one to me at the, at the DOD as their like, their Chipotle knockoff. <laughs> And now, you know, there are all kinds of diets, so you can get a vegetarian MRE, a halal MRE, and even a kosher MRE. As the military has grown more diverse, service members are requesting different kinds of things, and you know, they're testing out Indian food, Chinese food, and everything in between. I think I'm gonna start with beef patty, jalapeno pepper jack. You know, there we go. All right, so when you open it, it's got all of these 
components. First, we've got our flameless ration heater. You add a little water, put the entree in, heat it up. This is our beef patty. It's just like a little brick. We've got barbecue sauce. This is exciting. You don't know what condiments you're gonna get. Plain tortillas. I've heard really good things about the tortillas. These are the au gratin potatoes, which has got the list of ingredients is like a paragraph long. We've got a packet of M&Ms. This is something that they said they've been trying to do is having more brand name items because you know when you're a soldier and you're cold and far from home, seeing like a packet of peanut M&Ms is really exciting and you know, heartwarming. We've got cheese spread with bacon. And then we've got um, beverage base orange type two. This is basically like their version of, um, of, of like orange Gatorade. Oatmeal chocolate chunk cookie. That sounds pretty good. One of my favorite parts of the MREs that I think is pretty cool. This is a packet that has, you know, all the sort of random stuff you might need, including um, creamer. This is the gum that has xylitol. It's got a moist towelette, sugar, iodized salt, freeze-dried coffee, matches, and toilet paper. This is a little thing of toilet paper. Okay, so one, tear off top of bag, place MRE pouch in bag with heater, pour water into bag until it reaches level between lines, slide heater and MRE to bottom of bag, hold sleeve level until heater feels warm, after 10 or 15 minutes, the top half of the bag can be torn off and the MRE can be removed and eaten. Okay, so this has been heating for about 10 minutes. It's feeling nice and hot. One of the cool things is that you can literally, like, you can hear it, like, sort of, like, sizz sizzling. So I'm gonna assemble a meal. Remember when you were kids and there were those little, like, packs of, like, with crackers and cheese in them? This is sort of like that. Seth, stop looking at it like that. <laughs> nice and heated. This is what three-year shelf-stable beef looks like. We're not getting succulent meat texture, no crispy on the outside, moist on the inside. With the patty itself, is nice and spicy, salty. The cheese and barbecue sauce are doing some good things here. I really like, this one really isn't bad. This is sort of giving me like Taco Bell, like beefy gordita crunch vibes. Note, this is pretty cool packaging design. You're eating this way, not this way. This is intentional. The idea is that you can dig all the way down. This is sort of like a cheese whiz, Cheeto puff orange. You know, that I don't like as much. The cheese just doesn't taste like anything. It doesn't have like that nice like nuttiness. And I'm gonna try the cookie. These are not sort of like the soft chewy cookies. These are for the crunchy cookie people, which I'm not a crunchy cookie person. This cookie is not bad. Very sweet. You know, this is not puddles of chocolate. But if I'm looking for a sweet note at the end of the meal, this is ticking the boxes. Oh, thank, thank you so much. Yeah, being a person with acid reflux eating six MREs is my cross to bear. Um, we basically went through all of the rest of the MREs and pulled out the entrees and anything else that looked interesting to us. So we're just gonna try them one by one and give our thoughts. I'm gonna try the beef ravioli and meat sauce next. It's sort of, hmm, it smells like, it's like a light tomato, but I'm mostly getting like chili. It smells like chili. I'm just like a sucker for like, pasta and tomato sauce in any variation. So I'm rating this like a would eat again. I mean, this definitely just tastes, it tastes a lot like Chef Boyardee. Next one, breakfast time, hash brown potatoes with bacon, pepper, and onions. This sounds delicious. I'm really curious what like the shelf stable version of, excuse me, hash browns looks like. Sorry, I'm very <laughs> burpy from these. Like I'm really liking that you can distinctly see the peppers, the bacon, texture of the potatoes, nice. It's like soft, a little mushy. 
I'm getting like actual pieces of bacon. I thought it was just gonna be like bacon bit-esque, but this is like a step up from bacon bits. And the pepper sort of like adds a nice punch. The crispiness of hash browns is missing. It's mostly gooey, but there is flavor. Is it my favorite flavor? No, is what I would say. I think we're on to the stew. In the ingredients, we're seeing uh, chicken broth, diced tomatoes, tomato juice, green chilies, garlic, onion, you know, spices, whatever that means, tomato paste. Like we can really, we can, we can see and pronounce the ingredients in this, which I think is great. <laughs> I'm a fan. Once again, anything that gives me vague Taco Bell vibes is like a huge thumbs up for me. The pepperoni pizza MRE, this was like a huge breakthrough. The New York Times covered the announcement of the pizza MRE. We have sort of these pepperoni crumbles or pepperoni squares that sort of look a little bit like jerky. I know that I keep comparing this to packaged snacks. You know how in the Lunchable Cracker, like it was sort of soft and dense and not crispy? This is exactly that texture. If this was served at a slice shop, sure, I'd be like, this is not pizza. But in this context, this is pretty decent. Now we're gonna do some desserts and snacks. So here we've got cherry blueberry cobbler. Okay, so check out the inside of this. I was promised pie filling. And I'm also wondering like with cobbler, usually there's like some flour involved. So I imagine I'm hopefully we'll be tasting some of that. This is like, it tastes like cherry flavor. It's, it's got some acidity to it. So like, would I eat that again? Probably, I think I would probably eat that again. Okay, so really oily, sort of it's shaped like an Uncrustable and smells like a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> Carrot cake, not bad at all. A little cream cheese frosting, I would eat at a birthday party. You can see and taste the bits of carrot, which I really, really like. Yeah, would eat again. So we have eaten a lot of MREs. I would say favorites included, just for the tech alone, the pepperoni pizza was very exciting. I loved the Mexican style chicken stew. The beef patty was the big sleeper hit. As you're trying these, or even as you're watching people try these on the internet, you just have to consider just like the sheer amount of technology and questions that are asked for a single MRE. Can this be dropped from a helicopter? Can this survive negative 30 degree temperatures? Can this be shaken in the back of a truck? Can this survive blistering desert temperatures? Can I hike, you know, 10 hours in the hot sun in this and it still survive? Can I eat this after two years and it's still okay? The answer is yes for all of those questions for this. And I think in that way, MREs are pretty remarkable. For those of us civilians like myself who have never been in the military, it's really hard for us to understand what the day-to-day -day life of someone out there might feel like. And food is a really accessible touch point. I will be taking these accessory packets on my hikes next weekend. This toilet paper is a fantastic thing to have, if nothing else. And the gum, off camera, this gum, very good. Prevents tooth decay. <laughs>